reasons why bees are important for us pollination of wild plants bees are pollinators pollination is the movement of pollen from the anthers to the stigmas the pollen fertilizes the eggs of a plant producing the seed that will form the new plants bumblebees honeybees and other pollinators like wasps flies butterflies birds and bats are responsible for pollinating 75% of the world's food crops and 90% of our wild plants including many trees since plants absorb carbon dioxide and give off oxygen we need them to breathe if we want to keep many of our plants around keeping all bees healthy is a great way to do so pollination of food crops bees don't just pollinate wild plants they are also huge contributors to the pollination of many of the plants we eat foods like squash pumpkins kiwi and watermelon are pollinated by bumble bees honey bees and solitary bees tomatoes are pollinated by bumble bees other food plants like lemons and limes are pollinated by honey bees all these food and many more would be impacted if bees disappear it has been said that for every 3 bites of food you take you should take a bee or other pollinator these foods don't just benefit humans fruits vegetables nuts seeds and plants also provide food for birds mammals and insects biodiversity bees play an important role in protecting biodiversity while some bees are generalist pollinators meaning they will pollinate many different kinds of plants other bees pollinate specific kinds of plants in some cases certain plants that are only pollinated by a single species of pollinator called pollinator specialist These plants may have pollen in places that are hard to reach but these specialist bees have what it takes Animal and plants biodiversity would not exist without bees Through pollination a huge variety of plants and bees help keep species thriving and their population growing Pollination not only promotes healthy and strong plant populations it also helps keep herbivores and omnivores that feed on these plants alive and well honey did you know that honey is made through regurgitation and evaporation each honey bee carries nectar back to the hive in a special stomach called the crop in the hive the bee leaves a mixture of regurgitated nectar and a saliva in a cell the bees then work hard to evaporate most of the water from this mixture turning it into thick honey and then cover the top of the cell with wax if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you can get notifications about my video bye